back to another video. This is just going to be a really small update video uh, just regarding my e-bike that I had purchased. Um, so long story short, I did actually end up returning it for numerous reasons. So um, yeah, let's just get straight into it, why I did it and some of the problems with e-bikes. So yeah, I did sell my e-bike Mentos and one of the big reasons is just safety. So in the short, I think, three days of owning that bike, I got hit nearly twice by people opening doors while I'm on the cycling lane and it's really uncomfortable, um, yeah, knowing that people, you know, just don't look out for cyclists. Reason number two is that it's just not comfortable. Um, I got a bike with suspension for that specific reason, but it just doesn't seem to do much anyway. Yeah, I think it's something that e-bikes could probably improve on quite a bit. Maybe just having like swing arms on the back, like motorcycles and that sort of thing. But it just wasn't what I was expecting and it's not really that great for um, general commuting. Um, although that will be different for everyone. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's just a personal thing, I think. Um, and reason three being that the infrastructure is just not there yet. Um, I live in Christchurch, which is a pretty um, like forward city, like in terms of going or cycling. Um, so there's stuff like bike locks that are like built in, like you just open it on your phone and then you can uh, close it on your phone as well and there are also like cycleways that are like actually off the road which is quite good but it's just not enough yet i don't think and reason number four is it just wasn't what i was looking for i think for me in the daily commuter i would want something that i can actually get a pretty decent distance away and um just like everything like you know helmets don't really um help with the temperature and um, just stuff like that. Um, lack of storage compared to even my motorcycle is actually pretty atrocious and obviously the range and all the stuff that comes with that. And also just like security. Um, E-bikes get stolen quite often in the city. There are things in place to prevent that. But it just doesn't feel safe, um, especially because there are no like, locks built into the bike itself, which I think would actually make a lot of sense, like having like, steering locks and that sort of thing. Um, but no, that just doesn't really exist to be bikes. Um, and they are significantly more dangerous than a motorcycle. Um, I'll link a good video from uh, Fortnite, who um, did a great video talking about that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah. So, where to from here? I do have another surprise. <laughs> um, I'm actually picking it up today, which, um, so I should be able to make a video tomorrow sometime. But it is different, it's not a motorcycle, it's not an e-bike. Let's just say it's somewhere in between. But yeah, that'll be coming out tomorrow. But yeah, that, that's it for this little update. I just wanted to share that there won't be any e-bike content coming out because, well, I've already returned it. <laughs> shop was actually pretty nice, they, they were pretty understanding and the refund came through pretty quickly, so yeah, it, it's, it was definitely a nice experience to try and now that I know, I don't like it, so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking maybe in the future if they improve it, but I honestly think I'd probably just move to like a new motorcycle, like a um, Avco or Surov or whatever the bands are, but <laughs> e-bikes are not for me. Uh, for now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for this little update video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you want to for my next vehicle. Um, this one's actually going to be a little bit of a project, a bit like Simba, so I'm quite excited for that. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a wonderful night or day, and yeah.